prepare in the mirror before we do any of the carbon fiber on it pretty much all I did was just scotch brighted it down with some soapy water let it dry and then I cleaned it off with some alcohol and in the automotive industry I use what they call it's bulldog it's a plastic inhibitor you don't necessarily need that but I got it so I use it so just you know clean that up scotch bright it throw some rubbing alcohol on it to, to get any of the oil and grease off and then we're ready to start taping and throw down some paint on it and today we're going to be working on um, how to carbon fiber with the airbrush this is just a mirror off of a sport bike and what I'm going to do is the mirror has got a lip a little edge right there so we're going to start by taping that edge off. That way when it's done the carbon fiber will stop right at the edge and we'll have a nice clean black rim edge all the way around the mirror. I'm going to tape off, I'm going to tape off the stem right here. We'll leave that black. Now what I use for the carbon fiber, it's just this shelving paper. It's a grip liner. You can get it anywhere. Uh, I got this here at JCPenney's in the home department. It was like six bucks for an 18 by 60 roll. It's a rubberized, it's for your kitchen shelf. It's rubberized and it's got this checkered pattern in it it's got a little flex it moves it'll stretch one way but not the other so we're gonna start off by doing is just cutting this out make sure we cut enough for the mirror now we can depend on how we want the carbon fiber to go on the mirror I always like to go long ways with the mirror rather than short ways but like I said this will only stretch one way now what I do is you can lay it down and just piece it and spray as you go I've seen people do that but what I like to do is fit it on my part how I can best get it to fit which I'm gonna stop recording here because this will take a while to do but I pull it all around to the front of the of the glass I'm gonna tape that mirror off too so that doesn't get no overspray on it but what I'm going to do is I'll pull this all around and as I go I'll cut it off I'll pull like the top and bottom so I got it tight and then I'll, I'll get this nice all the way around cut and trimmed and then what I like to do is I sew it with the needle and thread I'll stitch the front together so it's on there it doesn't move all while I'm working so let me do that real quick Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll find how I best want it to fit on here. And I'll pull it tight across. And this is just regular needle and thread. I use upholstery thread or uh, button thread because it's, it's heavier. So once we got it stitched in, I always start at the center and work out. Just get a few stitches in it. It's going to kind of hold itself in place. Well, what's cool about this uh, this material too is it's it's rubberized, so it it doesn't slide. It it sticks on the mirror. It's got a little almost an adhesion but it's it's not adhesion it's just rubbery so it wants to stay in place when you get it on there it's all right we got that sewn in there so now what I'm gonna do is trim some of this out of my way all right now here's our mirror 
see I just pulled everything around and then at the stem I pulled it tight and sewed it around here so we've got that all together our mask is on there now for my paint I just use pretty much a three to one black to silver for charcoal um, this can be achieved with aerosol I've done it with an aerosol can no problem just get a charcoal paint the only trick really if there is one when you spray spray directly at it because if you spray you know on an angle you'll get up underneath it so to keep those little squares as sharp as possible spray directly at it thin coats a lot of thin coats more than heavy coats we've got several thin coats like I said we don't want to get too heavy with the airbrush or the aerosol um, because if you get too heavy it's gonna drop in there and it's it's gonna smear up underneath so we're all done we're dry so we're just gonna cut this off and take a look at it you can if you want and I have from here now that you've got that charcoal in there what you can do is you can just take some straight silver um, and I, I've taken silver before see this would go on the bike like this and just maybe dust some silver across it because it, it'll give it a little different effect but we're just gonna leave this one gray with the charcoal so we're going to cut this off get all this tape and get all this off down here basically just peel it back and there's what we got now when you clear coat that it's going to just bring that depth out and be amazing and also if you see you can look at it um, if you see any little spots you might have missed or something you want to touch up you can always take a little piece and lay it over and then touch that spot up they come out really good um, and then when I peel this off after I clear coat it and I peel this off see I'm gonna have that black ring all the way around the edge you'll find on some pieces um, when you wrap them that you can't get a good coverage this was a little tricky because of the corners and the bends so if you look anywhere I knew I was gonna need to take up any room I did it on the bottom so right there the carbon fiber pattern kinda stretches away from it and doesn't match hundred percent together but when it's on the bike who's gonna see that underneath and it's right there so the most important is to try to get the uniformity on the top which is seen So there you have it like I said clear coat it um, I can you just aerosol I would just aerosol this uh, Krylon fusion clear coats perfect for plastic and a quick job so pretty much that's it you figure if you use aerosol get a can of charcoal and a can of clear it's gonna cost you ten bucks and like I said this was six bucks so fifteen bucks you can carbon fiber whatever you want as much as you want so hopefully that's helpful and on the video you'll see um, what I like to do is although this bike is all white and silver there's no color but on my GSX-R it's, it's the blue and white so what I did on my GSX-R mirrors which you'll see here in a minute at this point before I clear coated it I took a transparent candy apple blue and I, I candy apple blued it and then clear coated it so the carbon fiber is blue so you could do any color I could do red over that uh, any transparent green purple blue and then clear it but that's pretty much it hopefully the video was helpful